welcome back to the channel and in this video which is a collab video we're talking about vlogging equipment we've got quite a few uh, different bits of uh, equipment to choose from haven't we surprisingly when you get it out when you get your equipment out it's surprising what you've got isn't it not always are you supposed to say yes oh yes yes yeah. it is a surprise mm -hmm. yeah so if you are documenting your travels as well then you might get some hints and tips from what we found works for us um and also what we found was a bit of a waste of money yeah gadget man over here all the gear and no idea what do you mean well you'll mm. soon find out don't forget to check out all the other channels in the collaboration as well which i will put up at the top of the screen one way or another and um, we'll put links to their channels in the description. Right, kick us off. What are you using to vlog? What are you using to vlog? <laughs> okay, I basically just use my phone because I cannot be doing with faffing about. I just carry my phone everywhere with me. I go anyway, so I just use my phone. So I've got an iPhone 13 Pro. Um, so it's the one with the three little cameras on the back. Um, and it just works for me. It's really easy for me to transfer the footage over as well. I just airdrop it onto our um, Mac. So I don't have to faff about with SIM cards or anything like that. I don't really understand. Um, and Dora here tends to use the native camera app, which comes with the iPhone. Yep. I use girl. my phone quite a lot as well. However, I use the Filmic Pro app, which gives you a lot more control um, uh, over, over what the camera's doing. Pardon? Mm? Yeah. So iPhones are actually a great choice. And that concludes what Tori uses and that's to it. film. Um, <laughs> oh, no, I do. I use a tripod as well. I use a tripod sometimes too. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. so normally this one, Yeah. which is um, very basic, but actually quite good. It's got the the iPhone mount, it extends, and then obviously it's a, a stick as well as a, as a tripod. So that's your, um, your yeah. usual go-to, isn't it? Yeah, so all done. Right. Well, that's the end of the vlog. <laughs> Wish you all the best. <laughs> well, actually, it leads us to our next piece of equipment because the iPhone is great. The only thing that lets it down is the sound quality. Mm. So I guess that nicely leads us to the next piece of equipment, mm -hmm. which is the Rode Wireless Go 2. So um, we actually don't use this as often as we should do <laughs> because we forget. Yeah. But the uh, the Go 2 is a says there's two um, transmitters, obviously one each, and then you've got your receiver. Um, so all wireless, really convenient. And linked to that, we've bought two, there's another one on the, on the table, uh, lav mics. So um, these are a little bit more discreet, wire them up the inside of your shirt. You can pretend you're like working on BBC News. You can. <laughs> I, mean, I wouldn't recommend it, but you can. But yeah, wire them up the inside and then the little... Like this. Yeah. Obviously, normally you put the wires on the inside and the, the mic, which is a little bit more discreet. So um, these are actually very inexpensive. The, the Rode was a bit more expensive. So that takes care of the sound. Where do we start? So right. I'm going to ask you now what you use. So we've covered me. Okay. Let's do you. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. So, Ricky, talk me through your equipment and how you like to use it. Thank you very much for asking. Um, so, let's break it down into to categories, shall we? Mm -hmm. uh, the obvious one to start with is cameras. Yeah. Yeah. So, very quickly, like you, I have an iPhone. Um, mm -hmm. And as I mentioned, I'm using Filmic Pro as an app. However, what I also have to go with my phone is a gimbal. Okay, so um, anyone who doesn't really know what a gimbal does, it smooths out all the movements and makes everything silky smooth uh, with no, no juddering really. So for this one, the phone clips in and, um, and when it's all uh, balanced, makes everything nice and smooth. It also comes with a tripod attachment. So once you screw that in, um, you can sit it down nice and flat. So this is a DJI gimbal. I think it's the Osmo 3. Let's say it is. So very useful, really easy to use as well. Okay, moving on swiftly. Also with a DJI, we have the Pocket 2. Now this is a very clever um, piece of equipment. 
and the whole premise is it's small enough to go in your pocket. This is the creator's edition, I think it is, which means it comes with a wireless microphone, which clips on a bit like the ones we've already got for the Rode 2 and um, extra power pack here and the stand. So um, it's also got a, a muff as well for the, for the microphones. It's amazing quality for the size of the camera. It's also got follow me and everything else on it. So um, yeah, this is a great piece of kit and very convenient as in straight in your pocket. Isn't that the one in Germany that you couldn't get to point the right way? Uh, the, the only thing with this actually, yeah, it's a good point, is the follow me sometimes is a little bit random. I think that might be user error. It seems to shoot off. Um, Let me just show you what we're referring to and it will make much more sense. It's camera, I tell you. It's absolutely And I want to like it, I really do. So we've got Mr. and Mrs. Taurus here. Blue <laughs> <laughs> Right, okay. I think that's covered. That's easier. <laughs> that's enough. I'm surprised they haven't used me in their advertising campaign. I'm right. surprised we've not had a call. Okay. <clears throat> right then, Ricky. So, yeah, um, okay. after your little pocket rocket, what, yeah. what's next? Um, next, um, sticking with the cameras, okay, um, we've got the GoPro invaluable the one thing i'd like about gopro everyone knows what gopro does but it's the fact that it's very versatile so we use it to film um through the the windscreen when we're we're traveling we also obviously use it for jumping in water uh, and everything else so really really versatile i think this is the gopro 9 it was the latest one when we bought it um also with the gopro we've got the media kit so this bad boy um, goes around the outside, it enhances the microphone, it's got some cold shoes for um, well, for this whilst we're on about it, the light, so we've got a, a light to increase, um, what can only be described as light. Um, moving on to the next camera that we've got, um, we've got the Sony ZV-1 um, with the external microphone, allegedly the number one vlogging camera you can buy. Um, not my words. Uh, well, you just said it. Yeah, they are my words. Um, yeah, amazing, really amazing piece of kit for fairly simple YouTubers like us. So that probably is arguably the best camera we've got. Not the most used, but the best camera we've got. The next item I would uh, be delighted to show you, if I may, mm -hmm. is the Crane m2 gimbal now obviously it's a gimbal so it serves the same function as the previous gimbal however this is uh for the sony zv1 and again it just gives you that stabilization the silky smooth footage and it also means you don't have to put the stabilization on in the software so it opens up the angle for um, the recording slightly wider so that is the crane m2 gimbal Going back to the ZV-1, uh, a couple of things I forgot to, to mention to you was um, the, the the muff on this um, does an excellent job of blocking out all, uh, external sounds that you might not want on your recording, um, but it does run the risk of all muffs of getting in the shot. So you have to um, you have to position your muff right. Yeah, you've um, got to be careful with your angle, haven't you? Yeah, and this also, which didn't come with the camera, has got the Bluetooth. Um, it's a tripod hand grip, whatever you want to call it, which means you can pretty much control everything from from the grip as opposed to having to touch the, the camera. Very convenient and is a tripod as well. Anyway, let's crack on. Um, the next piece of equipment, which we use very often, mm -hmm. very often, is the tripod. Mm. Um, this is just a, an Amazon Basics, but... Um, very telescopic i think it's it's about five foot if i'm not wrong you've got two lengths on the legs which does give you a nice length and then what you can also do up here is uh all that combined does give you quite some length yeah very very useful we use this all the time and um does fold back 
down. Very compact as well. Comes in a nice case. You can sling over your shoulder. Look at that. Think of uh, the description, eh? How useful is that? Yeah, and this is also, it's got a spirit level. It's got, I can't remember what this is called now, but it's got a detachable plate, which you can fix, for example, to the ZV-1. And then as you want to um, release, if you want to release, you can do very easily. Um, oh, it. Um, that was very easy, wasn't it? In a similar kind of vein, we have the monopod, monopod, um, which is um, just the one. So that's uh, very convenient. It enables you to do almost fake drone shots with your camera by fully extending it. It's got a nice length on it as well. Um, Show me the end. Hang on. Well, the, the business end. Oh, the business end. That's your business oh, end. Oh, that's the business end. So there's your the thread. As you see, that's got the same thread as, as that. That's thread, not thread. But for example, okay, if you wanted to, okay, you don't have to. I'm not telling you what to do. But if you wanted to, makes change. Yeah, you can put that in there. So if you're oh. using your, your gimbal and then you want to go up high, do that fake drone shot. Yeah, you can use this. Oh, look at that. Okay, uh -huh. that's just 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 one example. I could be here all day. Uh, I won't be because I've got lots to do. To be honest, but yeah. um, right, top recommendation. This is the good stuff. Okay, of our vlogging equipment. So let me introduce to you the drone the dji mini 2 was our first drone awesome okay but we've since upgraded to the dji mini 3 pro even more awesome the drone just adds something to the footage obviously the 3 is an upgrade on the 2 it's upgraded all the standard stuff the camera's slightly better um a few things i'd like to point out with with this one That's why Beth doesn't uh, fly the drone. In fact, that's the first time she's ever flown a drone. Um, so with this one, okay, the, the main highlights for the three are better battery life. You've got your obstacle avoidance, which is the sensors here and here and there's, uh, underneath as well. Now, the main advantage of having the obstacle avoidance is it now has a tracking facility, which basically means we can put the drone up in the air and it will track the van, it will track us if we want just to follow us if we're on bikes and we want it to fly fly over the top it will do that um awesome drone one thing i do like about the three as well is we've bought the controller which has got the the screen built in so no longer do you need to use your phone as part of the controller and the uh the screen is amazing quality it's so crystal clear uh, it's it's a joy so why is obstacle avoidance so important do you think that we didn't have on this one why is it important? Yeah. Um, well, it's important to avoid obstacles, obviously. Can we work it out? Only time will tell. It's gonna take a lot. Cause we've been through hell. I can't be without you. I've tried and I failed. So can we work it out? Yeah. And just other, a couple of other things about the drone. So the first one we had was only... 249 grams ultra light so just talk to us a little bit about that for people thinking about getting a drone well i'm very pleased you've asked because this one also is 249 grams ultra light now the 249 grams is the threshold between needing to have uh, an operator's id and an operator's license so anything below the 249 you don't need a license you still need your id i think that's the right way around but you don't need your license um anything above you do so it just means that there's certain rules and regulations that don't apply to the lighter drones they are still uh classed as a, dr a drone and not a toy um so um but being below the 249 threshold does make it a bit more simple and if you now we're not drone experts are we but we do have a friend called mark don't we um we do. the dudes and drones channel on youtube mark is a bit of a bit of a drone expert isn't he so he's been really helpful to us hasn't he give you lots of tips he has yes and i would just say uh if you do talk to mark uh he will probably cost you money <laughs> because yeah. you then end up buying stuff so. and i think that concludes our vlogging equipment
so we've built this up over the last couple of years. Um, the one thing I would say though, is if we were to do it all again, choose the camera you want and just spend time to master it. If you keep adding and adding like we've done, you tend to, um, and, and I've tried to stop Dora from doing this, but she, she just keeps on ordering all this <coughs> stuff. Yeah, master it rather than just keep moving on to the next piece of equipment like Dora's done. So I think that's it for us. Yeah, that's it. So please check out everybody else's channels in the collaboration. They've all brought their own different ideas. Everyone has very different channels and very different styles. Um, so we hope you enjoy it. Catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.